I'm going to um, go through the activities in the first section of this uh, chapter on web application security. Um, the first uh, section that is which has something to do. So if you go to the first um, page here, it's just a little bit of uh, overview. And then we come to um, this section on configuring HTTPS. So we're going to uh, go through these activities. So one of the things that that you need to do is um, is to create what's called a key store and generate a self-signed certificate and add it to the key store. Tomcat will use that that certificate and the public private key pair that's stored in the key store. Tomcat will use that to uh, establish HTTPS connections with the browsers that connect to it. All right, so so for this, um, to in order to generate this um, public-private key pair and the certificate, and insert them both in the um, a key store, you need to have the Java SDK installed because it has a program in there called Key Tools. So we will run this command. Um, because I'm running on Windows right now. This is what the command looks like on Windows. It's essentially the same command on Linux, but the line continuation character is a, a backslash instead of this caret symbol. And <coughs> if you look at the text up here, we're going to generate a file called keystore in the conf folder within Tomcat. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to um, start the uh, a command prompt, and uh, let me cd into this conf folder right here. I'm just going to do it the easy way. So you can see there's there's no file in there called keystore. We're going to generate the keystore in this folder. So I'm going to CD over to that location. And then um, let's go ahead and run this. Just copy and paste it. Assuming that key tool is in the uh, in the path, which I believe it is. Let's paste that in there. One more enter key. And key tool is not recognized as an internal external command. So let's uh, Java key tool is not in the class path. I'm sorry, the um, the system path. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, and find that. So I'm going to bring up uh, the uh, Windows Explorer and I'll look for Java on my system. So I'm going to look in Program Files, Java, JDK, and then inside the bin folder there should be a key tool in there. Here it is. So basically we need to uh, to run this. Maybe what I'll do is create a batch file here. That's the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to call it Gen Key Store. Dot BAT. Let's edit that. Oh, looks like it's uh, not the right. Uh, Looks like I didn't store this as the right. I'm going to delete that and start again. I think it's um, not a pure text file. It looks like it's uh, an RTF file. Let me try that again. So this will be a um, a text document. I'm just going to call it run dot bat. Edit this. There's the path. 
and once again it's it's key tool I just copy this again and paste it in there got our line continuation character here save that and uh, now at this prompt we'll just uh, type in run.bat it says C program is not a recognized file that's because see this program file has a space in there it's kind of inconvenient so we need to put the the path here in quotes the path name to the file let's try that again okay run dot bat there it goes take some time to run and uh, actually didn't take very long did it that's finished there's the key store right there all right so what we did here is um <coughs> we're trying we gave the command here to generate the key so it's a key pair this is uh, some indication of the the strength of the key and uh, it's we insert the key in this key store by this name key store so the key st name of the key store is key store name of the um, of the key is tomcat the password to the key stores change it the password to the key is change it that's how that works uh, let's see it's still working and uh, so after creating the file move it into the tomcat home we we have it there already into the conf folder rather under tomcat home and then we need to go into the configuration file the server.xml file and we need to modify this uh, this element. We need to uncomment it and uh, and provide the the path name to the uh, to the key store. I put the key store under conf. You can really put it anywhere on the file system that you like, as long as you have the the right um, relative or absolute path name to it here. Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go into uh, well, we don't need this file and that 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 view anymore. Let's go up to um, conf and then server.xml. Let's edit this. I'll edit that in WordPad. And we go down and look for the the connector for HTTPS which is listens on port 8443 that's the default uh, in Tomcat and um, this going to take the the uh, the comments out so I'm going to uncomment this line and you can see all this information is in here uh, but we're missing some pieces of information namely the the name of the um, the key store file and uh, I think some other information as well. This, the key store pass, the key store file. I think that's all we need are those two lines right there. Let's put those in there. To paste them right in there. It's an XML file, so we don't need to worry about white space. There we go. I'll save that. So when you do this, um, Tomcat be can be running, but you know you'll need to restart Tomcat. So actually, uh, my Tomcat is not running right now. Um, then we test. We'll test it to see here. If you look at the test, we requesting over HTTPS port 8443. This is not the default port for HTTPS, that's 443. Uh, but um, it's convenient to use 8443 to avoid a conflict with um, Apache web server if you happen to be running that, uh, listening to that port. But you can change the port number uh, if you like. So I'm going to close this. We don't need that anymore. 
I don't believe I need this anymore. And I don't think I need run anymore either, but maybe we'll we'll hold that a little while. I'll just save this. This is uh I'll just call it something else. This is the key key generation. We don't need to run it again, but we'll perhaps modify that command for another purpose uh, later in the chapter. So let's go ahead and start Tomcat. And uh, I don't need to go in there. Go up to the bin folder. And um, run the startup script here. Look for error messages. Looks okay. Test. The site security certificate is not trusted. That's because we generated a a, a key pair and, uh, and 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 placed the public key inside of a certificate. And that certificate is what Tomcat is making available to the browser. Now that certificate is not signed by a a trusted authority, and that's the reason for this message. We're going to proceed anyway. There it is. As you can see, we're going through port 8443 and uh, we're using HTTPS. The, the, the red mark here and the, the line that's telling us that we're going through an untrusted um, through an untrusted certificate. So that is it for uh, this section. We'll, I'll create other videos for the remaining sections of this chapter.